in my beautiful virgos i will each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling amazing on this saturn's day everything is everything on my side of the planet uh i wanted to tap in tune in see what's coming and going out going on with the beautiful virgo energy we are currently in your sister brother sign of taurus so we are gonna see like you know what what energy uh you all have to navigate um, everything right now is uh, very, very uh, powerful. You know, the energy is very powerful, I should say. Uh, celestially, there's a lot going on. We're dealing with an eclipse. Uh, we have Aquarius um, energy that's very powerful with that that uh, that Saturn in Aquarius. Uh, we also have the uh, eclipse in Aries. We have the full moon in Scorpio. We're in Taurus uh, season. There's also Pluto that's in retrograde along with Mercury, which is in retrograde. And all of that energy, uh, it affects what happens within us because as above, so below. As within, so without. So you're going to start seeing things shifting. You're going to start seeing changes in your lives. Uh, you may start to see yourselves cutting yourselves free from things that uh, are no longer serving you. You're being very honest and transparent. Uh, with yourself, with others. Uh, so you may find yourselves um, expressing your deepest uh, truth, you know, expressing something uh, that you truly feel uh, called to do. Maybe that's creatively, artistically, uh, but there's an expression. So maybe you will be speaking your truth. Maybe you will feel compelled to post a video online. Um, speaking of your journey or of your experience and perhaps that video will go viral or it will just be the precipice of something new that you will begin doing uh whatever it is i feel new starts something new i feel like this is a very uh fresh energy uh so it could be like i said uh something new that you will be embarking upon um and so we're going to tap in, tune in, see what's coming in, going out, going on. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively. Uh, right now, it is 7.12 on the clock. And we have, who is this? Let me see who this is. So we have uh, Rhapsody. So this is um, called uh, Iptahaj, featuring D'Angelo and Jizza. So Rhapsody is native of North Carolina. So some of you could be native North Carolinians. Maybe you're from Staten Island, New York, or New York, Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens, uh, Long Island. Maybe you're from, you know, the tri-state area. Maybe you could be even from VA because D'Angelo is from VA. Maybe you're dealing with someone uh, named D'Angelo. Uh, maybe you are also I feel like in a space where you are being your authentic self. Um, I feel like, you know, with this energy, uh, because this is uh, speaking of, because it says Ibtahaj, um, and, and I see these women and they, 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 they're wrapping their hair. So I'm just getting a sense that she's sitting on like brown stones um, in Manhattan and Brooklyn. They have those brown stones, even in parts of the Bronx. Um, so some of you could be native New Yorkers, I'm just getting. But I just keep seeing references like to covering hair. Some of you could be Muslim. Um, maybe you are, um, you could be uh, practicing Muslim. You may read the Quran. Uh, but hiba, what do you call that? Hiba, hibaj? Or what is that that they use to cover themselves? I, I don't want to butcher the word. I, I'm not, but I'm, everybody seems to be wearing it in the videos. So I do feel like, you know, that is just speaking. If you look at the f females that's behind her, they're wearing that. Is it called a hibaj or something? Anyway, I'll put the word down in the description box. But I keep seeing that. So maybe some of you all are uh, thinking about, um, you know, following that that Muslim, um, that's Muslim um, practice. Or maybe you grew up Muslim. Um, maybe you grew up with parents who are Muslim from, you know, uh, maybe even the Middle East, maybe some of you, I'm hearing Pakistani, and I'm even hearing, um, I'm hearing a, um, ah, man, I'm also getting like five percenters, maybe like you, you, you grew up in Harlem and you went to the school of Mecca, but I, I just get a sense of like building 
destroying him here in that building and destroying so you could have gone through some sort of tower moment and this new you you're now like maybe you are seeking spirituality so you could be reading the Quran uh, maybe you are maybe you just uh, started you know during the, the the Ramadan that happened in May I mean in um, I said in May in April uh, maybe that was your entrance, your start to uh, practicing Muslim. Maybe you've been going to um, going to the temples uh, and praying. You know, maybe you've started to pray during those um, critical times. This is powerful energy. You know, during those critical times during the day, I believe they pray. Uh, it is uh, is it five times or six times a day? I believe it's six times a day. They pray. And they always pray, I believe, to the east. So you could be from the, the, you know, the Middle East. I keep hearing the Middle East. Yemen, that was the word I was tripping up on earlier. Some of you could be from Yemen or you could be dealing with someone from Yemen. But I just hear Muslim. So I said all of that to say, let me tap in. Look at this. So you got spiritual partnership. So some of you all could be attracting someone that is a Muslim, a devout Muslim. Someone that is a practicing Muslim. Someone that is... Um, from, like I said, Yemen or maybe Brooklyn or North Carolina, like some of you all, if this is your locality, I feel like you're coming into a very sacred connection or a sacred partnership, even if it's a business partnership. And we have 3-3 communication on the split. So some of you all are highly intuitive. And that's why you have spiritual partnership because you're going to um, you're going to attract someone that is a like mind. So they could also be just as intuitive or psychic or cerebral as you. I also get a sense of like there's going to be very deep conversations with whomever this person is. Like this person along with you, you will have very stimulating conversations. You will learn a lot about one another about what you are embarking upon. I feel this energy is coming towards you. And maybe you're pursuing certain goals, certain um, businesses and endeavors, and maybe speaking or communicating or disseminating information is going to be something that you will do in the spiritual partnership, uh, you know, um, within your spiritual career. So that's powerful. So let's tap in, beloveds. With Jizza, Jizza um, is genius from Wu Tang. So Jizza genius. Uh, some of you all are seen as very wise, very, uh, very spiritual, very in tune. Maybe you are seen as a teacher, as a healer, a master teacher of some sort, Virgo. So let's tap in, tune in. So we have you are my starship plane. So someone feels like you are a wish. A wish come true, a wish fulfillment. Someone will communicate and express that truth with that spiritual partnership. I feel this is someone that you know. Look at that. These three cards are turned over. So this is someone you know with this 44. I get a sense that this is someone you are familiar with. Someone that you have already planted seeds and roots with. With double numbers, I always feel like that's you attracting someone that's in your likeness. A twin flame, a soulmate. Someone that is... Um, that you uh, may share the same love language, someone whose heart chakra is open to you. But I also feel you will, op you know, equally be open to them because you will recognize love when you see it with that eight. You know, I do feel like this is like positive movements forward. But I also feel like this is just speaking to um, this person coming in and wanting to build, wanting to uh, build that alliance, that circle of trust. Uh, you know, cultivate a very sacred connection with you. Spiritual partnership also flew out again. So this is definitely confirming that whatever you're attracting, whomever you're attracting, this is destined. This is almost like the beginning of a beautiful love story because 4-4, four, four, that is associated with the emperor energy, but also uh, your heart chakra. And this is a green card. So I do feel like you're attracting uh, who you are, what you are, um, definitely with that spirituality. Uh, I was getting, you know, I was getting like Muslim. So someone may be a practicing Muslim, a devout Muslim. And then we have four, uh, 
perseverance. So your angels and ancestors are bringing this person in. This is why it's spiritual, because it's definitely divinely ordained Virgos. So you attracting what you are, just as I said. 444 means your angels are behind the scenes conspiring to bring this person into your life. This is someone that will be invested. This is someone that will definitely... Um, you know, be willing to compromise, uh, that will be supportive, that will be very devoted, uh, that will be a attentive even, Virgo. Um, you are attracting who you are, so this person will ground you. And with perseverance, you've both gone through a lot of uh, changes, a lot of turmoil. This person sees you as very strong. They see you also as the very definition of love. They see you as their twin flame, because four is also uh, the vibration of 1111 which is dealing with that twin flame soulmate cosmic companion energy and the person you're attracting what you're attracting is a spiritual partner so they will be willing to put forth the effort the time the energy um we have you on my starship plane by norman connor so you could be dealing with someone named norman or connor's first middle and last this person sees you as that sh that star um you may be in the spotlight you may be doing something uh, that is garnering a lot of attention at this time, but you are absolutely seen as very stable, very self-sufficient. This is someone that holds on to you or holds on to this vision that they have in their mind's eye, uh, where they see you as their, you know, as someone that speaks their love language, someone that's um, a like mind. Um, they communicate with you telepathically. Four times three is 12. So they do see you as an empress or an emperor, uh, someone who's reached that level of self-mastery, someone who's learned a lot from their experiences. You can have a divine masculine um, feminines who's coming towards you, who's been through a great deal, same as you, uh, which is why they're mirroring your energy. Someone who had to learn uh, to love themselves. They learned that love was an inside job. So self-love was a lesson that not only you learned, perhaps, but also the person you're attracting. So I do feel that's another reason why the spiritual partnership is here because your angels are conspiring you with someone who is made in your likeness. And we have follow your dreams here, which is what we are about to uh, pull for. Um, we're about to pull the card for what is hidden. And remember you have, you are my starship. So remember with follow your dreams, someone could be coming towards you with four, four, four. Like I said, that three, there are, uh, you know, planning, preparing, uh, perhaps strategizing uh, to take action, to come towards you, manifesting you. Uh, maybe during this full moon, you may hear from someone. Three deals with the solar plexus as well. So that is the sun that shines within someone or shines within you. Uh, so perhaps they are mustering up the strength and the courage. Uh, perhaps this is someone who's healing from past wounds and traumas, uh, you know, uh, but they are also... Um, you know, healing from that because that green is really showing me that uh, now there's this emotional intelligence. Um, they feel emotionally sound because this beautiful green that I'm feeling just it's it feels very uh, very healing, very purifying, and uh, they feel very encouraged and inspired to follow follow you because you are a dream or wish fulfillment with you on my starship. Uh, we have Oshun everything, so I do feel like this person. Uh, definitely is attracted to you. Everything about you may be very attractive. Oshun is a powerful Orisha, uh, and she is seen as very beautiful, very fertile, very powerful, um, and a protective energy. So someone sees you as a wish fulfillment. This is that same uh, divine masculine uh, that could be calling you in or a feminine energy because 85 reduces to 13. So someone has really changed uh, their perspective or gone through some sort of uh, change in their life and it has you know allowed them to uh, open up their heart chakra after you know the pain or loss whether it was losing a love or whether um, you know losing someone uh, who's transitioned into the spirit realm someone feels very inspired um, to follow you 13 is the transformation so that's a change they're willing to to, to uh, make and um, that 13 reduces to 4, so this is again 4444. Four, four, four. So 444, four, four, that's 16, that's 7. So they are uh, finding balance or attempting to find balance within themselves uh, so that they can take action like that chariot. So this is about them, you know, going within uh, to, to really 
you know, do that internal work or to really uh, gain some introspection uh, in, 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 in order to take action. Uh, to, to map out a plan, you know, like I said, I see the mapping out a plan, planning, preparing, and then they're going to take action with like that chariot so they can rush towards you, you know, with the everything. I feel like this person is feeling very, very inspired to tell you everything that they may have hid from you, Virgos. Um, I feel like you also may hear everything that you've been waiting to hear. Um, but this is someone that thinks the world of you. They want to give you the world, you know. Uh, so this is powerful. So what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Virgos? What's hidden in the energy? We have the message of peace, power, protection. Thank you, Spirit. So we have here on the bottom of the deck, 14, I mean 13, another four. So there's a divine masculine. I just keep getting all these fours. You got four, four, four. We just saw 85, which was four. Now we got 13, which is four again. So there is a divine masculine. Someone is attracting. Some of you divine masculines are attracting um, someone that is now coming in, realizing that they need to make the effort. Maybe in the past, that was what led to the demise is the lack thereof. Someone just was sitting, you know, on their hands, not taking action, but they was carrying you around in their spirit. Uh, you know, there was some sort of karmic lessons being learned, which is why someone couldn't take action. Maybe it was a matter of divine timing. I am absolutely feeling many of you are coming into a spiritual connection with someone. Um, and you both will have, uh, you know, you will create and cultivate a powerful, a powerful uh, legacy. Um, you know, a powerful partnership with a spiritual career, you are very, uh, very much being prepared uh, for your your next assignment. I'm hearing uh, you are being, you know, um, assigned some sort of some sort of responsibility. And it is a duty that your angels and guides are aligning you with. And I feel like you're going to have help because you have spiritual partnership here, whether that is, you know, finding other business partners that are on the same wavelength or a love partner that becomes your business partner um, that is coming in to, you know, work together, team up, you know, be your 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 uh, support system. Uh, this is beautiful. And they're willing to make the effort. I feel like something led to the demise in the past, the lack of effort, you know, the lack of someone taking action. Maybe someone was, you know, dealing with a lot of conflict or, you know, maybe there were other people biding for another person's time and energy or other competition. Um, and that's what led to something, you know, kind of ending, you know, prematurely or just ended. But I feel like, you know, that story is going to uh, be what sparks someone's new spiritual uh, venture. Uh, the card that flew out for what's hidden is we have financial discipline so this is that same person you know that wants to cultivate and and work together this is someone that wants to build an alliance um you know someone that's willing to put forth the effort this is someone you already know uh what we have playing is xavier omar and this is called so much more so someone feels so much more than they have let on uh with this three of pentacles maybe you worked with this person or work around this person like i said i was strongly feeling like you know this individual so you have roots you've 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 planted some sort of seeds um grew roots with this person so there's history uh someone may feel like you know they definitely want to come together and um you know, forge a partnership with you because they do love you. Uh, with this three and three, I definitely am getting a sense of someone now wanting uh, to be more generous, perhaps with their time, or someone now perhaps seeing your worth, seeing your value. Um, maybe they are thinking of you constantly because that six deals with the, uh, you know, the first eye. Uh, six is also the lovers. So this could be someone from your past that wants to either uh, provide you so much more, express what they feel, you know, show you, you know, through their actions uh, that they love you because that 13 breaks down to four. 
and I feel like your love language they realize isn't so much words but it's more so action so they're willing to be more intentional this time around Virgo what we have on the outcome is teaching and learning so you know there is an element of you know you being in some sort of twin flame connection because like I said that four is the vibration of 1111 which is twin flame energy so I do feel like you are attracting someone that is um, your sacred count you know divine counterpart and uh whenever you have teaching and learning um you are teaching or they are teaching you and you're learning or they're learning from you um that you are absolutely um worth it you know because they want to give you so much more uh and they realize that they had to give up some toxic mindset or belief system or some toxic connection even uh to pursue you so they are coming towards you uh, very intentionally uh, with this six and this three, that's nine. So they're making powerful changes. Uh, they may have fears in losing you, Virgos, because they see you as very self-sufficient, independent. You're like pre-empress status or empress status, uh, someone who's self-made, someone who has reached that level of self-mastery, a master manifester. Also very creative, very maternal, very paternal, dapper, debonair. Um, very beautiful energy. They just see you creating the life that you want, you know, being selfish, loving you. There's all of these cards reduced to nine because we have four, 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 which is reduced to three. Three and three is six. Six and three is nine. So this is definitely someone that does see you as a wish fulfillment because we just saw you are my starship. So they do see you as a wish fulfillment. They do feel like they want to pursue or to, um, you know come after you this is someone that definitely has had some sort of epiphany um and they could be up in their mind they could be waking up in cold sweats uh in the middle of the night this could be really um causing anxiety stress uh and and, and fear ultimately for losing you they fear losing you um with marvin gay got to give it up so they're they're willing to give up something that um is detrimental to the connection overall whether that be their own stubbornness or thick-headedness or ego they're willing to give something up because they've learned they've learned valuable lessons from you but more importantly they learned that you're the one that got away i also feel like you have been in an air in an energy of being selfish um and loving you yourself and you so you may not have been giving off this energy of being open you could be coming off very guarded uh, and maybe because you may have given people a lot of chances. So now you're being very, very mindful to protect your energy and to establish boundaries. And so this person is learning and they have learned, you know, that they love you. They have learned that they uh, truly desire you. The last card we have is surrender. See that? So with this surrender card, I do feel like spirit is um, saying that, you know, when you're opened, uh, when you're receptive, to love then you know love can come in and there's definitely someone that wants to love you right it's a man this is another four we got four we got four 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 so that three and that 91 reduces to four so whoever this is i'm getting strong uh masculine energy that's the emperor card and so the emperor and the empress they truly embody all of the characteristics and attributes of all the queens all of the kings so this is someone self-made this is someone that is now very um, much a boss they are a go-getter they go after what they want so they're very determined and spirit is saying to surrender to be open to be receptive because perhaps the stirrings within your heart has called this person in and this person that's coming in they're coming in intentionally to make the effort so i do feel like with uh, gotta give it up i feel like spirit is saying give up you know perhaps the act of trying to control the narrative or perhaps even um you know being guarded uh surrender open up you know that 91 reduces to 10 so that is you know almost like a death the death of the old perspectives ideologies belief systems uh can now bring you to perhaps a new fresh perspective uh, but this four here is also just telling me that it is a twin flame uh, dynamic uh, because that four is the vibration of 1111 uh, and you have a lot of fours here. So this is like triple confirmation that uh, whatever this new connection is, it is very spiritual in nature. It is very sacred. Uh, and I do feel like your angels are all around you. Uh, and they're inspiring, conspiring behind the scenes to bring this connection into fruition. And uh, they will be very effort. Um, they will be 
very intentional in making the effort. Uh, I do feel like maybe divine timing was of the essence and why things may not have transpired in the past. It could have also been a matter of, um, you know, like I said, karmic cycles that had to come to completion before you could come into union with this person but virgo this is a beautiful reading um thank you so much for tuning and tapping in i hope the messages resonated for you if you found that it did please be kind hit the like button the, sh the bell notification and definitely hit the um subscribe button and become a member of the soul tribe soul family if you are returning beloved you already know what it is love is love is love until next time i send a big fat old asheo peace